Hi everyone, today we're going to learn a little bit about ArchiCAD um, and how to work our sewn tool. Um, all these little purple squares are zones and they just help us to determine how big we want our square feet or our room to be and so they just kind of gives us um, kind of that outline so that we know um, how much we need. So um, thinking about if we want a room that is uh, 600 square feet we can draw it and then shift it and change sizes so we can locate it into a building or place it into a building. So to begin we're gonna go ahead and place uh, click on zone tool which opens up all of our um, different varieties of what we can do with with our sewn tool and what we want to do is we want to um, change it to our square um, um, parameter which kind of helps us just to create a square rather than do individual lines so this one would be our individual lines so this one would be our individual lines this one right here would be our square squaring off we want to do our square off so if I were just to click on that and have it preset, I just go ahead and click on a square um, and just draw it and then go ahead and click right in the middle which gives us our square and how many square feet it is. Um, you can name it. So if I just right click uh, anywhere outside the parameter, oh, so we have to kind of escape out of the zone tool. So we just escape out of the zone tool. This, when we right click, it gives us our zone selection settings, which we can go into and modify the name. We can modify the number. So if we're doing like uh, 13 offices, it would be office one, office two, and you can, you can do that in one um, you duplicate it, it changes for you as well in numbers. And then you can see how it's going to turn out and, and look right over here. And it tells you um, what floor it's on. So if you're changing any floors, like second floor, third floor, it would change um, the floor over here. Um, again, let's just get out of there. And if we want to modify it, when we click in the corners, we see this little... These little lines that indicate the middle. If we click on there and leave it um, still selected, we're able to shift. And all these gives us if we want to do a round shape, if we want to just remove um, from our square feet. That one's just we're removing from it. Say I want it less here. It just makes it uh, smaller. So if I go again and click on our distance, so it's an even distance out, expanding an even distance, or just shortening an even distance. If we go again and click on the offset edge, this just maintains our square footage, but it changes the sizing of our, our area. So if I want it shorter, uh, or just decided to try to make it more even, you can do that, but it doesn't change the square footage. And that's great if you have, if you know that you want a room to be 600 square feet, and you want to place it, but it doesn't fit within the area, you can keep shifting the dimensions. Um, but still keep it within that six, 600 square feet. That's a really useful tool. And if we want to move it, once it's green and selected, we just click in the middle and it moves, it drags with us wherever we want it. Um, let's see. So we can add or subtract to our square as well. Um, so that's pretty much how to do your or work your sewn tool um, it's fairly easy but 
it's something you might want to work with and practice a little bit and um, get the hang of it. So I hope that this helped. Thanks for watching.